Hello guys, in this video I'm going to give you a tutorial on installing Education WP Eduma version 2.5 with Visual Composer update. The reason why I'm making this video tutorial again is because the new version now supports Visual Composer, which gives you a totally different experience in building website compared to the older version using Site Origins Page Builder. Site Origins Page Builder is quite awesome, however, due to the lack the large amount of people requesting us to integrate VC in this team, so we made the team made the update, and here we are. And let's start. To do this, you must have your own installation of WordPress on your web hosting, and you must have the newest version of Education WP, and you can download it on Team Forest. I included the link below. If you haven't purchased the team, consider buying it. It is currently the best-selling education WordPress team on Team Forest Marketplace, and it comes with a lot of great features, allowing you to view a website with full LMS functionalities for your school, your university, or your educational center. With the new Visual Composer page builder, or even with Site Origin page builder, you will not need to write even a single line of code to make your website go live. And please make sure your web hosting meets all the requirements of the team as is being shown on the screen. Or you can go to our documentation links below and check it. I have included it in the description of this video. Um, first, as usual, you have to go to the WordPress Mm, back end and under the section appearance go to the back end and under the section appearance click on teams and click on add new add new now we will need to upload the team so click on upload team choose the team and Click on install now and wait for a few seconds. Okay, done. Uh, click activate to activate the team. Now, as you can see, there is a lot of plugins that the, re the team requires to install before the site can run. Um, click on begin installing plugins right here. Please select all and choose to install. Click on apply so that you are installing all the requirement plugins. There are 10, 21 of them, so this step may take a while. Be patient. Sometimes errors happen in this step because your hosting or your server are not config as the requirement of the team, as I mentioned before. Okay, so now all the, the plugins are installed and it's ready to go. Please return to the dashboard. Now you will see this notice, Demo Importer is ready to use. So click on uh, Demo Importer. Now you can see that there is a lot of the team's demos here, but you can't choose any of them yet because you may need to select the Patch Builder option before importing demos. So because I'm installing for Visual Composer, I will choose Visual Composers. And then you, there you are. Let's choose uh, Visual Composer and let's import the main demo. Installing for other demos were all the same. And this step is quite long, so keep calm and wait. You should enjoy a cup of coffee in the meantime. All right, so 
the importing process is successful. Congratulations, your site is the site is yours now. Let's go to the site and check. Click on visit site. Now you can um, now you can see the, the option to edit the page using a visual composer right here. But don't be hasty because there are both site origins page builder and visual composer integrated in this team. So uh, that kind of creates a conflict. So you wouldn't be able to use visual composer yet. And to fix that, the first thing you need to do is to disable site origins page builder in the install, install plugin tab. So go to dashboard and look at the plugins tab, install plugin. Look for page builder by site origin. Yeah. Uh, click on deactivate. Okay, done. Now you will be able to edit your pages using Visual Composer. And one last thing you need to do is to go to Visual Composer and choose Design Options. This will uh, help you, help you uh, restore all the default uh, style of the page. So click on Enable for the tab. Use Custom Design Options. And as a and here at elements bottom margin I tie in zero px and set changes. Okay, so now the site is completely yours. You can do whatever you want with it, and it only takes like ten minutes of your time to install. Thank you and uh, good luck with your site.